Okay, so let's uh, take a look at our third principle, which is the list scope principle. So this one might be kind of tough to wrap things around the head, but simply it states that the parent object should be able to replace the child object. So to make it more clear, uh, let's create a new example. So over here, I want to create a new project. Mm, let's just name it as example. And let's do this as our startup project. So like we gonna make a use of some square I and mean, rectangle or something like that. So okay, so down here, let's create a class called rectangle. And let's create some properties called, okay, mm, that's going to be integer height. And then let's just, um, and this is going to be width. Okay, so we have this property. And what you want to do is, uh, let's create a constructor. Okay, so this is our empty constructor and let's just save some space and let's create another constructor and this constructor will actually take two parameters called height and width and width okay and we just want to do some assignments Okay, so there we go. And we want to have some two string, so let's override it. And what we want to return is some string from it. So what what do you want to say over here is let's uh, let's do with the call to with and okay, so height. Okay, so nothing special in this class. And if we go to our main method, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll create a rectangle object, and we want to pass some height and width, like let's say two and three. Uh, let's say like we want to compute the area of this rectangle. What I can do is um, I can create a static int. Let's create area, and this area will take uh, rectangle. So let's rename it properly. Uh, what it will do is it will take the width of the rectangle and it will multiply it with height so it will return areas and over here I'm just gonna print it out so let's say area of rectangle is and let's just call that area and pass our rectangle okay so nothing too complex if I run this it says okay area of rectangle is six now which in our case is true three times two equal to six now let's say we want to create a square so what i can do is public class and as we all know square is a rectangle with width and height same so what you can do is we can just extend it from the rectangle and over here we can ha have our method public int width and since we are extended from rectangle we are just using the same property and we are actually setting the property like so what we will do is uh, take the width and make it equal of height
So what we'll do is if we just enter either width or either height, both of them will be kind of equal. So this is what it's doing. So like it's kind of same over here. What we're gonna do is base dot height equal to base dot uh, let's say width and equal to value. All right. So this is our square and it should work perfect. So what we'll do now is create a square. Alright, so this is our square object with no parameter and we are actually setting the width over here. And let's give it a full. And let's spread it out. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to copy that thing out from top. And uh, it should be area of square. And it should be area of square. Okay. So the width of the square is 4. That means the area of square should be 16, right? And this would be 6. So let's run it. Okay. Fair enough. It's correct. Okay, now let's try list score principle over here. So what list score principle says is uh, the parent object should be able to replace the child object. So in our case, square is our child object and rectangle is our parent object over here. So this rectangle is our parent and square is child. So according to the list score principle, if we replace this child with our parent, this should still work. So let's try to run it. And ah, it didn't work. We get zero. So that means like we are not complying with this code principle. Something is wrong in this code. And it is actually a simple fix. Because like when I, when we are trying to create the square from the rectangle it will never actually execute this line of code. So it will go straight into height and width and we are setting the width as 4 but we are not setting height. So it will be 0. So and 4 times 0 is equal to 0. So how can we fix that is we can try to create our method of virtual. So what I mean by that is I'll just go ahead over here and I'll create it as virtual. Alright, so same thing with here. So whenever I create those methods as a virtual, what will happen is whenever I do something like this, it will hit this height and width. Okay, and it knows, okay, okay, this is a virtual method. So let's go ahead and look at the B table. So that's what this will do. And it will actually go ahead and hit this method in the square. So over here, we actually want to override it now. Let's put this override. Okay, so since we marked this as a virtual, it will go ahead and take a look on this method, our property, and it will just override it. And over here, we are setting width as a 4. And over here, like width equal to 4, so that means our height will be 4 as well. So let's take a look now. Yep, so we are getting it at 16. So we are in comply with list score principle. So we can even change it back to square and it should work perfectly. Cool. So we can say this code is this example is in comply with list score principle. So let's take a look at our real example then. So I'm going to create my post system as a startup project and let me close this one. So back in our main method, we are doing mm post. We are creating an mm post. So we know mm post is a child and the post is a parent. So according to the list code principle, we should be able to replace our child with the parent. So let's do it as a post. 
and let's try to run it. Well, see, something is wrong with our code. That means this is definitely longer than 30, but it is instead using our post and not multimedia post. So this this means our code is not with compliance with uh, list call principle. So let's try to fix it. The way we just saw in our example, what you can do is go to our parent class and we're gonna mark it as a partial. Mm -hmm. So since we mark it as a partial, now we are extending this to our mm post. And instead of new, what I'll do is I'll just make it overwrite. And let's go to our main class and try to run it. Alright, so it works now. Right, it is going to our multimedia post. So I can even change it back to mm post and it should still work. Yep. Alright, so our code is in compliance with our list code principle too.